Today we're taking a look at Solana's Sol coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Sol go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into Solana's Sol coin chart, guys. If you'd like to buy Sol or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. And as you can see, we have had what we expected to happen basically play out to the T. We've gone straight up from where we were on the 23rd of March all the way up now, of course, to this point, $125 being our key point of resistance and our key target to try and break through. So you can see we tested that point yesterday. We hit $125. Now we're seeing a little bit of pullback occur. You can see as well that the volume actually went up quite sharply as people were expecting the test to occur and hopefully, of course, a breakthrough. Unfortunately, we didn't see the breakthrough, but we have now seen the test, which is certainly a positive sign. We've tested it and we're coming back down a bit. I'm expecting that is because the RSI is actually going to be quite high at the moment. Let's have a brief look at that one. As you can see, yes, we are now in the overbought range and this is largely due to the fact that We've had so many green days over the past few weeks. So of course, once we have too many green days, we're gonna be in that overbought range and things will need to pull back a bit. So what I'm expecting to see is, of course, yes, we've had you know a nice little bit of a pump here. I'm expecting now we're gonna go downwards like that. So it would be in this sort of a manner I would expect. And then we'd start to then swoop back up and retest and hopefully break through this key point here at $125. All in all, looking really, really positive today. Of course, we haven't seen the full day's volume at this point in time, so we now sit, wait, and watch and identify what is happening there. I'm expecting volume to drop off as the cells start occurring for a short period of time, but it shouldn't be for too long, probably a few days at most. Now, as well, we've got this 20 and 50 day moving average. The 20 day moving average has crossed now above the 50 day moving average, indicating we are seeing a reversal in the short term trend. Positive stuff here, guys. Things are turning bullish. You can see the last time we were above this point was back over here on the 4th of December of 2021. So we're talking basically over three months ago. That is the period of time we are looking at. So. All in all, I think right now we can safely say that things are looking significantly more positive than they were previously. Let's have a quick look at the MACD as well now. Having a look at that, you can see it's been slowly creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, and it's been going for quite a while now. As we do hit this point of resistance, I expect this to start to curve off. And of course, the 12 day EMA probably come back down and we may see a cross or a touch of the 26 day EMA occur. I don't think it's going to be significant. If anything, I think it's going to be shallow as we have seen in these periods. And instead of actually moving downwards, we're gonna move sideways like this, as you can see over here, before that breakout then occurs again and we start moving in the right direction. Now, price target wise, what is the target? Well, obviously we need to breach $125 first. So that was our target from the last video. We've hit that. We haven't broken it, but we've hit that. After we get past that point, we're going to use our old point of support, which is now acting as resistance over here at $150. So let's just move that one up, chuck it in place. That will be the ultimate target after the $125 mark is broken. And you can see right now, this is exactly where the 200 day moving average is sitting as well. If we can get the price back above the long term 200 day moving average, we will really start to see things reverse. That wraps up today's analysis on Solana's Soul coin, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.